Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I am continuing my series in Growing with the Lord, and today I will present to you one significant point that we need for growing in the Lord. I am Father Vibert Stevens, and I am Roman, from the Roman Catholic Diocese of Bridgetown here in Barbados. What does it mean for us to grow in the Lord? I read to you from part of scripture I'm taking from Psalms 119, and I read to you from verse 164. And you can read the whole chapter, which is the whole, which is 176 verses. But this is what it says. David is speaking, and he said, Seven times a day I praise you for your upright judgment. David takes time to praise the Lord. Do you know that your priests pray for you and for the world? These amount of times during the day, the church asks us to pray these times for the world and for the church. So in the morning early, the priest does the office of reading, which consists of readings of the Father and readings for scripture. Then we have morning prayer. Then we have prayer during the day. And, we, and then we have midday prayer, a prayer before lunch. And then we have Pray after lunch, we have, we have evening prayer, and then we have night prayer. All these prayers are moments in time when everything ceases to pray. We are very busy people, and we find ourselves engaged in so many things during the day and the night that we don't even have time to rest. It says that God created the world in six days. Six days, and after six days, he rested on the seventh. Now, six days say that things are not really where it should be. So, for instance, in the book of Gen in, in the book of Revelation, we speak of 666 as the sign of the beast. Now, saying that means that things are not fully what it is. So, Satan and evil cannot be complete. We could find ourselves walking, 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 and forget God. That is what 666 is, you know. It is us forgetting that God toil and that God wants us to pull aside from our toiling one moment to be with him. It is not the amount of time that David prayed. It is not the times that he, he lift up his hands. But it is time that we put our concerns of the world aside and be in the presence of God and lift ourselves up. This is a wonderful thing to do. We cannot go a grow spiritually unless we intentionally break from our duties, whether it's during the week or the seventh day or the first day of the week, we must take a break from our duties and recognize God's presence in our lives and thank him for the strength he gave us to labor. We cannot forget God in our walking. We cannot set God aside. My dear friends, it's time for us to shake ourselves up. Go to the scripture and spend time with God. Spend time with him and bring him into your life and into the world. For this will change you drastically and you will find yourself closer and closer to God. More you do it is the closer God grows near to you and you to him. Take time and rest in the Lord. Let us pray. Oh God and my Father, you see how often we are engaged in our business of the day, in the concerns of our lives, our families and our friends as those concerned. We are caught up so much, Lord, into our troubles that very often we forget that you are the one who has given us time and day. That you, who Lord, who have regulated our way of being in the world, we ask your forgiveness. We ask your pardon. But we take this time, Lord, to thank you for the opportunities when we praise you. But as we do so now, we ask you, Lord, to wake us up. Wake up our, our spirit. Wake up our consciousness that we may be aware of your presence and leave the cares of the world into your hands 
because we know you are capable and able to carry out our cause every day. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. A pleasant day to you.